Hello traders, it's your one and only Forest Q Coach Tim Legend and I'm super excited having you guys here today on this. Uh if you can see currently guys I have just upgraded the five box strategy with some new features which you need to know in order to add it to your strategy. Okay, a lot of you have been sending testimonies about the strategy and how it's been working and then uh Recently, I, get, I showed you guys how to set your take profit and stop losses using the strategy. Okay, so now I'm giving you guys a new feature on it. All right, on my last video was uh, the fractal, which you guys can see I'm still using the fractal currently here. So now I've got something new that you need to know, and it's also going to help you be able to know the areas where you can actually set your take profit okay yeah because while you're on your trade you should have your targets where you feel price might likely get to and have another reaction so you always want to focus on the let me get an arrow you always want to focus on the bottom of each boxes look if price is above the box you always want to focus on the bottom price is still spiking gradually if price is above the bo your box you always want to focus on the bottom of your box this is the bottom okay this is the top so you can call if price is above it's going to be a new support when it gets to, uh, gets to the top of the of the box but once it gets into it okay it turns resistant and here becomes support so you always want to focus on the bottom of your boxes if price is above the box currently now we have price to be above the box okay and then it means if price is above this box right now you want to focus on the bottom of this box i will show you how to do that in a second before we proceed if this is your first time on my channel could you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss out a single thing because here in this channel all we post are winning strategies to win in the markets all right so if you've subscribed thank you very much let's proceed so what you want to do is you want to get your trend line and put it out like this okay you want to put your trend line out like this you can go to property of the trend line and then put it on uh ray right okay ray right and click done so in this way the trend line is going to be straight and long for you to be able to have a future lookout okay so you always want to make sure your line is straight all right now I just put it on the bottom okay you can see on the bottom of this and then you leave it there you want to bring out another one for all the boxes you have placed beneath price okay for all the boxes you have placed beneath price you want to bring out so that you have several targets okay so I'm gonna set up this one here too I need to put this box like this it should cover the entire okay all right then put it like this beneath okay so any other box beneath okay so we have just this one here finally here all right so we've got two boxes so far so good so this is your 15 minute time frame you know why i always advise that you use your 15 minute time frame is because you with your 15 minute time frame you have a longer move in the market okay than using a one minute or five minute time frame and with your 15 minute time frame you'll be able to see the uh the foundation is more clear all right so right now we've got two different support zones your anticipation is that price would likely begin to come down here anytime soon and when it comes down it would want to come and retest this previous support of the past you see it was a support before 
and that was why price was busy ranging around there before the bears pushed deep down and then it got and, and then came here and ranged again it found support here again and ranged again before the bulls pushed up so there's every tendency that the the, the, the bears will likely want to push down again to this support okay and if they end up breaking through the supports there's tendency that they would want to come back down to this other previous support again so if they end if the bulls end up pushing back up again then you want to have your you want to have your line here now for any box above price you want to focus on the resistance of it okay you want to focus on the resistance of it that is here okay that is here so that's where you want to be looking out for your targets all right so with that you have that in place so you've you you've just put price in a coven okay or you or you can just say you've just stuck price in between so this is your trap okay so now if you want to catch the spikes you want to see found the the the, the the range is going on around here right now it's trying to create a new foundation after this range markets will likely move somewhere okay so now we can see that price is busy spiking so you can place a trade and watch how price will move if the spike continues your anticipation is that your your take profit anticipation should be somewhere around here okay and then if price breaks out of it, your second take profit should be somewhere around here. And if price decides to go up, then you want to understand that this price might likely want to go up to this level. And once it gets here, there's every tendency that the bears might want to take power and push price down again. Okay, so this is just how you want to be on the lookout with your foundation. With your foundation strategy okay so you just want to be very very careful you want to bring out one box here okay price is still going down now you get to observe that it has broken through you get to observe where price is you see the line of price it has entered into this other box now so it was previously resting on the box okay and now another new spike has broken the, the has broken into this box so now the price has broken into this box if the best push down again they will keep pushing till they get back to this previous support of the past okay so in this way if you were already in the market you should be anticipating to take profit here or lock your profit i always advise traders to lock profit instead of taking profit because if you take profit you begin to look for another entry again but if you just lock your profit and price per adventure continues you keep any more profits okay so that's how you want to uh cage price okay you want to place this this is you setting traps around you're setting all your traps around for price all right so in this way you see yourself working together with both your box strategy your horizon your uh supports and resistance strategy okay don't forget what i taught you guys how to use your fractal in my last video okay if you haven't watched it you, you need to go and watch it always understand that there are always reactions to when price gets to the fractals okay and then you would be asking what is this other indicator here doing okay so here with this indicator you want to always understand that when price is here is called it's at the oversold level and when it's here is at the overbought level therefore you want to look forward to buy when is at the oversold after you've gotten proper confirmations 
don't just buy because it got here you need proper confirmations before you buy or even sell before before you sell you need proper confirmations okay so this is just you having more confluence okay this is you having more confluence around here and around here to take trades so all you need to do is to use your demo account and keep rehearsing on how to get good entries with your strategy just keep strengthening the strategy that's why i keep giving you guys more videos and more videos of the same strategy before i change a new one so that you learn how to strengthen your strategy okay so when you see the strategy that works best for you you keep using it and keep winning all right guys so this is the settings you have the fractal there's no uh settings for fractal you have your relative strength index period 11 apply to close apply to uh weighted close hlcc4 you have your levels to be 96 97 98 12 13 14 15 70 30 and 90. then you have your momentum period 14 apply to close then style whatever color you want and you click done so i'll see you on the next video for the meantime stay safe and keep winning